Okay, these are remix shoot style Deku bread and butter combo. To this. Oh no. Yeah, that's the thing about his tilt quirk too. It actually wall splats um if you're like facing the wall, so and it kind of actually messes the combos <laughs> messes up the combos now. So if you do your tilt quirk if you're doing a combo and you're near the wall, try and remember not to do your tilt quirk too, because it is likely to mess it up. Damn, 11,000 damage, zero dash cancels, and it's completely free. And if you were wondering how I comboed off of the, um, both the Tilt Quirk 2 and the Quirk 1 in the air, if you just jump after they hit, you can, um, you cancel the last part of the hit and you can get a combo. Yeah, you can get hits afterwards. So like here, I just jump and I'm in the air. And the same goes for the, um, air extension where I'm doing the, uh, Quirk 2, Quirk 1, I just jump. And then I'm in the air and attacking them. So yeah, that's how you do his bread and butter combo. I'll just show it again. Boop. Boop. Yeah, that was even slightly more damage that time. I think it's probably just because a few more hits of the um, slide hit. But, you know, it's barely any more damage. But that's a lot of really good damage for a zero dash cancel combo. And obviously he can do other extensions, you know, like if you get any kind of hit, like if you accidentally do the full attack string, you can still go into basically the same things. It'll just be a little bit less damage. But it's still really good damage for zero dash cancels. Like, usually 10,000 and 11,000 is like the upper end of um, damage, like for characters doing like a dash cancel, like BNB combo. But yeah, see, that Tilt Quirk 2 puts him in the wall if you're too close. But yeah, that's basically how his combo is going to be. You can do it in the air. Like, if you get an air hit, you know, just go into literally the exact same thing and do the same combo, and it works pretty well. And then you want to be not doing any dash cancels so that you can just, like, do a plus... <laughs> a Team Plus Ultra whenever you can. So, like, you can do something like this in order when you're comboing into the Team Plus Ultra. Oops. Oh, I'm my bad. And that's gonna be a beefy chunk of damage. Like, it really doesn't matter what combo you do. Oh, that was a plus ultra one. But it's gonna do 24,000 damage, like almost any hit that you do into a team plus ultra. And that's why you wanna not spend too much meter with Shoot Style Deku, because he doesn't need to. He's gonna let, get 11,000 damage either way. And, um,. Yeah, so you can, in the last round, you might have a Team Plus Ultra to instantly kill them. Also, he can get a Wall Splat off of this now. And then, obviously, Wall Splat combo, you know, it's gonna be basically the same thing. Whoops, messed that up. And, oh yeah, okay, that meter blowed because of all the extra hits. But if you shortened it, they'll get the bounce or something. Here, let me see what I can do. But yeah, basically, these are basically <laughs> the combos you're going to be doing with him if you're playing with Shoot Style Deku in One's Justice 2 Remix. Oh, that meter blowed too. Okay, so I guess you just want to do as long of a combo as possible there. Or maybe if I just go... Whoa. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> come on, I want to do this, damn it. There we go, now that's going to be good damage. There we go, there we go. Almost 12,000 damage just off of a wall splat. I'm sure you can do something better. These are just me, like, trying out, like, the first 10 minutes of using this character, and he's already really awesome. Anyways, bye.